Is the world more peaceful since the revolution? It is a shame that your people suffered. The Mandalorian features a bounty hunter, <clears throat> obviously who lives by a creed, goes from planet to planet uh, and jumps around, you know, make obviously delivering bounties and collecting his reward, you know, um, his his tokens, his his riches. That's really what defines any Mandalorian. <clears throat> um, hence, this is the way. But let's just take a second real fast. Like, <laughs> I think Mandalorian, but you can't help to feel like some people take more of this show to be the Baby Yoda show. <laughs> That's what it kind of turned into, you know? Um, <clears throat> but more, on a more serious note there, obviously the Mandalorian, <clears throat> it's really good. <clears throat> it definitely is really good. It's, it's something I kind of thought wasn't going to be terrific. You thought it was probably going to be along the lines of, your average Star Wars fan would think it was going to be along the lines of <clears throat> going on Tatooine, um, you know, the planet, you go to the planet Hoth, you visit the Jedi Temple, you, you know, you have all these familiar locations that everybody knows. But the creators of this show definitely did a phenomenal job with exploring other boundaries and, and different escalations of <clears throat> of areas that we don't we didn't typically see throughout the movies. So in that regard, I do have to give them a thumbs up that they did a great job there as well. Um they started off strong with the episodes. Um, the episodes, probably one to three. I know it was only an eight season, eight episode season. That was a little bit of a bummer to me because it turned out to be really good. It wasn't as great. It, it wasn't as long of a show that I would have li liked it to be. But the content they were able to push out in the storylines and connecting it... Um, with its longevity, longevity and consistency of the plot and the, and and the store, the main story, <clears throat> um, that they could continuously <clears throat> string along throughout eight episodes was pretty impressive. I just felt like they could have done a little bit more. Um, the first two episodes were good. You kind of got to the middle of the season episodes about not not three but about four and five episodes four and five. Um, six wasn't a terrible episode, but four and five, I think, had some of the most horrendous acting I've ever seen. Um, I don't know how many people, how many people would agree with me there, but I really, I really feel like a lot of the middle <clears throat> series was a bunch of, you know, crappy fillers we just don't need. And I get every show and every movie has those filling moments and segments and episodes or whatever, <clears throat> that tend to be here like more or less great or bad. But in this case, it was actually quite horrendous. If I say so myself, it kind of, <clears throat> it really held the Mandalorian back from its, its main potential. But being what the Mandalorian is, a bounty hunter who's supposed to deliver a bounty, lives by a creed, finds out that is one of his targets turns out to be the species of, you know, Yoda, but in this case, baby Yoda. Um, the, you know, the time and place a lot of people have <clears throat> in mind is a little bit confusing as well. A lot of people don't think that the, 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 the segment and, and the plot is, is at par. They don't know where the timeline sets, but when it comes to the timeline, just a, a fun fact for people to kind of dig deep and realize is, the Mandalorian takes place after episode <clears throat> six, but before episode seven, with like Ray and <clears throat> the 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 um the First Order and uh, all the everything like that. And the main villains here are the Imperials, um, if you so if you will. Um, but the Mandalorian develops a nice side, a second side. He wants to care for this Baby Yoda character, so that's a lot of the main. <clears throat> storyline of what it turns into 
we do have a lot of trips that the Mandalorian goes on. He's in space. He goes from one planet to the other. There's a mid in the middle of the season. We get a little bit of a mini war on the on the forestry planet where he's they're fighting an ATST and all that. And the little bit of CGI there. I'm not even sure if that was CGI. I don't really know what was going on there. <clears throat> but all in all, it was, it was a good episode. It was a great battle scene. But it, but the filler and the acting and that was just terrible. Um, I think we got a little bit of unnecessary content there that we just didn't need. It wasn't really something I liked. It slowed down. Like two episodes, it went in the slowdown mode. Um, kind of going towards the end of the season, um, you know, you're looking at episode seven and eight. We really get introduced to uh, an interesting, mysterious gentleman who seems to be running all of the like uh, troopers and whatnot. <clears throat> um, and these troopers are led by a, a man named Moff Gideon. Um, Moff Gideon, for many of you who know, who many of you may know, excuse me, um, he's actually, he used to be a, a fairly uh, well-known ally to the, the uh, to the force and, and the, the good side of the, <clears throat> of the people through the galaxy. But um, obviously, Eventually in time, during to more personable reasons, well, that's a long story, that'd be a different video in itself right there. And he's going to stop the bounty hunter, the Mandalorian, and, and everybody that he knows because they want that bounty. The baby Yoda has become a prized possession, um, someone that should be eliminated, and I, we don't know what direction they're going to take this, but I definitely feel like with all the news that we've gotten lately... Um, <clears throat> The Mandalorian season two has the impeccable potential to be something greater than season one. And don't get me wrong, season one was very, very good. It was a job well done. But with season one, I, I, a lot of things kind of making it, you know, it's not bad. But making my point here that it's still good, it wasn't all bad, everything has bumps and bruises. But with The Mandalorian, um, I like the villain, the villainous character Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon definitely added a flavor and um to his background of what we can expect and and kind of spoiler you know for many of you guys just so you know spoiler <clears throat> um he's a bad guy and he definitely has a big history with the dark saber uh for many of you that don't know that dark saber at the very last episode that you saw that dark saber um, is a, is a da dangerous weapon that was wielded by the, the Mandalorians and the Creed, um, even once held by a Jedi, that weapon was, um, sound like you ever seen, um, that I just did there, <clears throat> but that weapon was a very dangerous weapon in between the time periods of a lightsaber and sometimes even stronger than a lightsaber. Um, so I feel like season two is going to have a big impact there, um, Needless to say, on top of that, he's not dead. Um, the Mandalorian actually shot him down in that final battle sequence we saw towards the ending. Um, Baby Yoda, Mando, um, they're all they're all alive there. The only main character throughout season one, um, like that had a like the droid. Speaking of the droid, like the droid char main character, um, I know I don't even think we've ever got his name, but. Um, he definitely faced an unlikely turn. He self-destructed, but he saved everybody um, to beat Moff Gideon in that final sequence there. So that was really cool. That was kind of heartfelt, you know, that he that he that he realized he was redesigned to defeat um, and protect defeat anybody in the path and and protect Baby Yoda. Um, so that was kind of his mission. That was his reprogramming. I do like the characters that we did get. There could have been a couple other great characters as well. But I think in time we will definitely um, get more characters. A um, couple names I can't pronounce at the moment. <laughs> but uh, we will get to that. We will talk about that after we watch season two. Um, and that is kind of what we're dealing with. Um, it's... I, all in all, I think I have to give season one probably a solid, a, a solid B. You know, and, and like I said, it goes back to the, the way they, they filled things in. You know, we give it a solid B, 
uh, the way they fill things in, um, the filler, I get it. You know, you have to have a full season, but I just feel like it was a little, it wasn't the best that it could have been. You know, there was, there were, there were subplots. I get that it's Star Wars. You can jump around from one point to the other and another point, but have some like consistency with the main plot. You know, we definitely within episode four and five and only being an eight episode season, it's, it definitely stung a little bit there. So, um, that's kind of why I really backlashed and had to give it that, but I was way impressed. I was, I was, I was astounded by how good it was. My speculations were off. It was, it was, it was good of a show. And I, I really feel like season two, when it gets into more of the Moff Gideon side, we're going to get more backstory. We didn't even see Moff Gideon until uh, the last two episodes um, about. And then also, we might even get a couple surprise characters um, going into season two. Um, I know that there were a couple big deaths in season one. And you all saw that for those of you that have watched The Mandalorian. For those of you who have not, definitely get to it and watch it. Um, so... Uh, again, you know, that's kind of my, my touch up on there, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned, you know, when we hit that next season, we will come across back to this subject and then, um, stay tuned for that next, uh, Disney plus episode, hit that bell, like it up, subscribe, thumbs up, flex it out, whatever you guys do all things justice. This is fast 40. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, again, hit that bell for that next best episode. After you guys subscribe, if you haven't already, I will catch you guys on the next episode. Take care guys.